Welcome back to another word study. And today's word is going to be a little controversial maybe. And the word is idolatry. A lot of people have formed their own opinions and definitions of the word idolatry. But what exactly is it? What does it mean? Let's dive into it. And as always, before we can even go further with a word, we need to define it. So dictionary.com defines idolatry as one, the religious worship of idols, two, the excessive or blind adoration, reverence, or devotion, etc. And when I saw this, I thought there was a little bit tweaking, a little bit more needs to this, so I looked at Webster's Dictionary. And this is the first time in word study I've actually used Webster's. And Webster's defines idolatry as, one, the worship of a physical object as a god, two, immoderate attachment or devotion to something. So why am I doing this? Because I'd like to blend or mesh, if you will, dictionary.com and webster's.com and put them both together to give a better definition uh, especially number two of each one the excessive or blind adoration or reverence and webster says immoderate attachment or devotion so it's an excessive or immoderate amount of devotion to something so let's look at idolatry in its original form in hebrew and remember every hebrew letter has a definition associated with it and we're going to take a look at how the each letter and its definition actually defines the word idolatry itself so let's take a look at it and idolatry actually um it's going to be actually two words work idols and work idols these two words the first one is Ein Beit Vav Dalit Tav. And I'll go with those meanings. Ein means to see, understand, or nations. Beit is God the Son or house. Vav is a connection. Dalit is pathway from creation. And Tav is a divine period of time. So if you make a sentence of each one of those definitions, it'll actually define the word itself. That sentence would be seeing the sun's creation or I'm sorry seeing the sun's connection a pathway from creation at a divine period of time now let's hold that let's look at the second word and put the two together the second word is Aleph Lamed Yud Lamed Yud Mem Aleph God the Father Lamed blood sacrifice Yud divine deed Lamed, blood sacrifice, like we said. Yud, divine deed, like we said. And the last one, Mem, is a probationary period followed by renewal. So let's make a sentence out of those. And it is, God the Father demands a blood sacrifice as a divine deed. His blood sacrifice is a divine deed, leading from a probationary period to a time of renewal. So let's put those two definitions together and form one complete sentence of both words. It would be seeing the sun's connection as a pathway from creation at a divine period of time. God the Father demands a blood sacrifice as a divine deed and his blood sacrifice, the Messiah, is a divine deed leading from a probationary period to a period time of renewal. So what does that have to do with idolatry? Well, let's, let, let's think about that a second. Idolatry is the opposite of that definition. Remember the first word I said was seeing? So idolatry is not seeing or refusing or turning away the sun's pathway a sacrifice, a sacrifice of self, time, talents, energy, whatever, that leads to destruction and not renewal. 
remember the definition the sacrifice is supposed to be for a time of renewal a probationary period that leads to his pathway right idolatry is refusing to see turning away that pathway that sacrifice that was made for us well let's go a little bit deeper that's why it says in the Ten Commandments that number two the second one listed is don't make unto me no idols no graven image nothing the second one mentioned Exodus 20 verse 3 says you shall not have other gods before me and nothing shall replace or take place of the Almighty Creator the word gods little g can mean things or people that receive more attention worship attachment and devotion other than Elohim our God remember at the beginning I said there's gonna be a little controversial and a little bit hard for people to accept so according to what that just says idolatry is anything that receives more attention worship attachment devotion than God Elohim our Creator Woo. it's pretty powerful but let's go on a little bit more verse 4 Exodus 20 you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or above or in earth beneath or in the water under the earth you shall not bow down to serve them for I the Lord your God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers of the children of the third and fourth generation of those who hate me but showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments so worship and praise is only designated for our Creator and mercy and love comes from him when we keep his commandments so let's take a look at what that just said it says don't make any carved etched cast molded or any form of created image shall in no way shape form or fashion receive praise and adoration no image shall take the place of God the Creator then he said don't have any other gods before me here's where it gets a little bit difficult for us no other gods little g before me remember the definition from Webster and dictionary.com an excessive or immoderate attention given to something or someone other than our Creator Adonai Elohim this could include a job or occupation that receives immoderate attention that is excessive more than God it could be money or material things that's excessive or more than God people friends relative that receive more adoration more time more immoderate attention other than God social media that's a very difficult one news entertainment and hobbies self interests and desires and you said wait 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 hold on hold on you're telling me that I can't be a, a baseball fan or a football fan and have my favorite team no 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 that's not what I'm saying remember the definition remember the definition excessive immoderate attention so when that attention toward that baseball football team hockey team whatever is excessive or immoderate completely totally out of balance more than God the Creator's attention that's when it becomes an idol does that make sense so anything that's receiving more attention and more adoration and more time and effort and energy than God our Creator that you might want to take a look at that 
and see if that could possibly be a little g god idol that's taken the place of his attention. So what is an idol? Anything that replaces Elohim, our God, for praise and worship. Anything or anyone that receives more attention and devotion other than him. And remember, the definition of the, the words itself, idolatry is not seeing or refusing or turning away the sun's pathway, a sacrifice, a self-sacrifice of time or our talents that leads to destruction and not renewal. So idolatry is a pathway to destruction. Our original pathway was for renewal. But when we refuse to see it, when we turn away from it, it leads to destruction. So I hope that helps give you a better working knowledge of what an idol is, what an idol does, all in the word idol or idolatry itself. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you receive a notification every time a new one is released. And the most important thing, please share this with people who need it, especially your friends and anyone who wants to learn the word. Till next time.